Let's customize an Islandora form. Islandora Defaults comes with a default Islandora content type that has a lot of fields. It's designed to line up with the mods metadata form that came standard in Islandora 7. And as we see scrolling through, this results in quite a busy form. So let's make some basic changes to simplify this form. So we'll go to Structure, and we find Content Types. Repository Item is the content type we want to work with. And we're going to manage those fields. And here we see a list of all of the fields that are available in that form. And in this tab, we can make simple changes to all of those fields, like setting whether or not they're required, setting what kind of widget is displayed, uh, let's do a default value here real quick. So we're going to take the model field because in my demos I'm loading pretty much nothing but images. So I'll save myself some time by setting a default value of image so that that choice will be pre-selected for me whenever I go to that form. We'll save our settings and go back out to the form again. And now when we go to add a new repository item into Islandora, the model field has already been pre-selected as image. And now let's simplify the form. So we'll go back to structure and content types. Now we can go directly to manage fields and we do have the option of just straight up deleting those fields and removing them permanently. But if we're not 100% sure that we're done with them for good, we can instead hide them by going to the Manage Form Display tab. And then we can take the fields that we don't need and we drag them down to the bottom into the Disabled category. And this will prevent them from being displayed in the form, but won't actually remove them from Drupal. So if you want to put them back later, they're still available. Now there are quite a few of these fields, and unfortunately since we're doing this all through the user interface, we do have to move them one by one. So I'll just do a few of these now. And then we'll save and see what our results look like so far. We'll go back to our form. We only moved a few of them, so it's not immediately obvious, but those fields that we moved down to disabled have now disappeared. Uh, so now, through the magic of video editing, let's have a look and see how that form looks when we've moved a whole bunch of those unnecessary fields away. So here we see a much simplified form because I've dragged almost all of the fields down into the disabled category, so I just really have a title date, description, and subject left. To find out more about Islandora 8, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.